everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have made a video, but I have been extremely busy with work. I want to try and make a few more videos a bit more frequently than what I've already been doing, so I want you guys to tell me what you want to see. But today's video is going to be a haul. Over the past five weeks, I've been lucky enough to travel to England and to France, and while I was in France, I visited Disneyland Paris. This was kind of like a lifelong dream. I'm a massive Disney fan, you can just ask any of my friends, and I've been wanting to go to Disneyland for the longest time. Being able to go back in June was completely amazing, and I've decided that I'm going to haul everything that I bought on the trip. The first thing which I bought, obviously when you go to the park, is that you want to buy yourself a pair of ears. I wasn't sure which ears to buy. Um, Previously, I've been lucky enough to have these Minnie Mouse ears here and these Mickey Mouse ears. So I was looking to purchase myself a pair of ears, which I haven't bought before. And that's how I decided to get these pink ears here. Um, I can't remember how much these were, but I think they were 17 euro. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong and you go to Disney all the time, correct me on that, please. Right, so the first thing that I bought um, is when I went into the Cinderella castle. And I bought a few little bits and pieces. I bought this Belle hairbrush. My favourite two princesses are Belle and Ariel. So the merch which I have bought is either Belle or Ariel related, but I decided to get this Belle brush, which I will actually use. I'll probably put it in my gym bag or something like that. But yeah, I thought this was ridiculously cute and I love all the little rhinestones which they put on there and it's sparkling and it's yellowy and it's Belle and I love it. On that same note, in that same shop, I also bought myself some Disney hair clips. Um, so that's Aurora, Belle, Ariel and Tiana. Um, these were £9. So I should probably say on this note that Disneyland is not cheap. Um, I knew it was going to be expensive, but I didn't think it was going to be this expensive, especially when you convert it back to Australian dollars from Euros. I got some Disney Princess pens as well. Um, so just of all the different princesses, again, this was not cheap. These were £9, but they were really cute. When I went to Disneyland as well, I was also introduced to the concept of pin trading. My auntie, she goes to Disney quite frequently, and she visits Walt Disney World, and she told me how the whole pin thing works. So I decided that I wanted to invest in a few pins of my own, and I also bought a lanyard. Now this lanyard I'm going to use for work to put my ID card on. Um, which I thought was really cute. So it's just got all the different Disney characters and then 2015 on. And then the pins which I bought, and I hope you can see this okay, I bought Belle, I bought Ariel, and I bought the Disneyland Park, so the Disneyland Paris Castle. Moving on, I decided that I wanted to buy a couple of photo frames. Obviously, I'm going to frame a couple of photos. One will go in my house and then one will go in my office at work. The one that I bought for my office at work was this Disneyland princess one. So it's got all the different princesses on and it's glittery and it's really cute. This one costs 13 euro, but I think this will look really nice in my office. Um, and my office is already a bit of a shrine to Disney, so this will definitely be a nice little addition to that collection. One for my house which is this one here. So I think I'm going to find a nice picture of my partner and I to go in this frame from when we were at Disneyland. And I like that it's cute. You've got Mickey and Minnie there as well. I think that was really nice. So I got that one too. Same with photo frames. I also got this magnet. So it's just Dis Minnie and Mickey Mouse getting married. When I was a little girl, I was obsessed with the Minnie and Mickey getting married merch. I don't know why I just was. Whenever I would, there used to be a Disney store in Australia or in Perth anywhere and I used to go there and I always used to buy that stuff. So I decided to get this magnet and this one was six euros. So again, not cheap. I also bought myself a cup. So I was tossing up between getting Belle or Ariel, but my sister got Belle. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get Ariel. So I just got this cup and it's a really cute print on there as well. And it has different textures. So you've got the smooth glazed print and then there's this kind of raised lacy print on it as well so I really like that. Got another aerial cut except this one was from the Disney store on Oxford Street in England. It wasn't from Disneyland Paris but I just really like this. I like how you shake it and it's glittery and I thought it was also cute how you've got the mermaid tail there too. So if you can see that one a little bit closer. I also bought some clothing when I was at Disneyland. I decided that I wanted a couple of t-shirts just for wearing around the house. Um, maybe I'll even wear them to the gym as well. So the first t-shirt that I got was this one that I'm wearing right now, which I'll stand up so you can see. Hopefully you can see that, but it's just the Mickey Mouse print and then it says Disneyland 2015. And then I got an even bigger t-shirt, which is more baggier, so for just lazing around the house in, but I really like the print again. 
Hopefully you can see that okay. So it's just featuring all the different Disneyland characters and then it says Disneyland Paris as well. One of the things I liked about Disneyland Paris across all the shops is they constantly had deals and promotions on. And when I was there, they said if you spend over, I think it was 80 euro, you received a free towel, which is what I did. So I received this towel here and I actually haven't opened it yet. So I'll do that now. I'm not even sure what the print is. I haven't looked at it yet. But no doubt this is going to look cool on the Aussie beaches in summertime. And then it says Disneyland Paris down there, so that's pretty cool. So I found these two figurines. So again, I couldn't decide whether to get Belle or whether to get Ariel, so I just decided to get both. I'll put it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see Belle. And then Ariel. So what I like about these is that they're wearing their park wear. So this is the costume which Belle, oh sorry, Ariel wears when she's around the park. Um, and this one, I guess, not so much. It's for more refers to Belle's old costume, but I liked them both, so I decided to get one of each. The last thing which I got, or rather I didn't get, but I was given, is my lovely partner surprised me on our final night in Disneyland with a little gift. Um, he was waiting to give it to me on the plane on the way home, but he could see how sad I was to leave Disneyland, so he decided to give it to me when we were at the parks. Um, and to start with, it's in this absolutely gorgeous little Mickey Mouse box, which I really, really liked. And then if we open it up, the Mickey Mouse with the Disneyland castle underneath, which I really love. And I haven't worn it yet, but I want to save it for a really special occasion um, to wear it somewhere. Was there, I also visited the Disneyland Christmas shop, which if you've been to Disneyland Paris, you'll know is inside Sleeping Beauty's castle. To start off with, I bought this bag to put all the decorations in so I can keep them nicely wrapped and safe until Christmas time. Um, so one scene on the front and then another scene on the back. Decorations for our tree, whoops, I bought this one here, so it's a little photo frame, so again I'm going to find a nice picture of myself and Ash to go in here, Ash is my partner, um, to go in our tree, and it's just Mickey in the Fantasia year, and then it says 2015, so I liked that this will always be a nice little memory of the year that we went to Disneyland. The next decoration which we got was this little thumper from Bambi with a little present. I love bunny rabbits, so I really couldn't go past this. And then I love the other bits at the top of the decoration. So you've got the Mickey Mouse face, or rather the Mickey Mouse sign, and then um, the little star underneath. And I think this will look really nice on our Christmas tree, so I can't wait to put this one up. And then the last thing which I bought, which isn't really Christmassy, but I thought it was really cute. It's this Minnie Mouse on a cupcake holding a strawberry. Um, so again, which is nice and pinky, so it's a little bit different, but I thought it was really, really cute. That brings us to the end of the haul. Again, I had the most fantastic time at Disneyland. It was definitely a highlight of my trip to Europe. If you want to hear more about my experience at Disneyland and hear what I actually thought about the two parks and the accommodation, comment below and I will tell you what I think. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Remember to hit that subscribe button guys and if there's a video that you want to see, tell me about it in the comments below.